You're watching continuing coverage of World Healthcare Congress 2012. Thanks for joining us. I'm sitting here now with Tim O'Reilly, and you may know him as the Oracle of Silicon Valley, worth listening to because he's, he's predicted pretty much every technological development over the last 30 years, so we're really pleased to have him in the studio. Thanks for being here. That's a little bit of a strong statement. Really? But, uh, I like to say my reputation exceeds me. Well, why not? <laughs> hey, better than right. uh, people saying bad things, right? Yeah. So, All right. well, tell me, we're talking about healthcare during this conference, and that's one sector which seems to have trouble with the innovation and kickstarting collaboration. Why is that? Well, uh, first of all, th there's a huge amount of innovation in healthcare. Let let's be honest. Mm -hmm. I mean, we have new procedures all the time. We have um, uh, new devices. You know, where we don't have innovation is in business models. And that's why the cost keeps going up. Uh, because we have this sort of unholy uh, alliance between uh, you know, business and government, and where each gets to point the finger at the other and uh, each plays uh, badly on the other. And fortunately, the uh, government is trying to break that unholy alliance by shifting the business model, creating this new concept of accountable care organizations, paying for outcomes rather than paying for procedures. And if that works and is not shot down by our uh, Supreme Court, then I think we're going to see a revolution in the cost of health care. Because that revolution of paying for outcomes is also what we saw recently, for example, in media. Uh, the big change uh, from the old way that advertising worked to the new way that was exemplified by Google uh, was this notion that instead of paying for impressions, you pay for clicks, i.e. people actually do something about the ad. And uh, you know that's enabled by the ability to track and monitor and measure uh, the outcome. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and I think if we can get there in healthcare, we'll we'll get we'll finally solve that old problem that was first identified by John Wanamaker back in the 1890s about advertising, where he said half of my advertising uh, doesn't work. I don't just don't know which half. And we have all, all these analogous problems in healthcare, where you know, as George Halverson was saying earlier today, uh, a very small percentage of the patients uh, drive most of the cost. And a lot of that cost is actually avoidable. Uh, there, are, uh, this guy, I forget his name, uh, in um, uh, hmm. uh, yeah, So we're talking yeah, yeah. about a wellness movement that if we get people to start thinking about choices, well, they wouldn't no, have no, to be No, 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 I think there, that's, that's, that's the easy, um, you know, way to think about it, you know, uh, that it's about wellness. Uh, sure, that's a small part of it. No, it's it's about uh, continuity of care. It's, for example, notice, you know, the, uh, the guy I was thinking about, he's a doctor in Camden, New Jersey, discovered a very small number of patients were driving almost all of the health care uh, costs. Uh -huh. There were people who went to the emergency room two, 200, 200, 250 times in a year, huh. you know, almost, you know, more than every other day. You know, an emergency room visit is a very, very you know, expensive, expensive way to deliver yeah. care. Whereas mm -hmm. if you kind of were tracking and measuring and monitoring, you say, what's wrong with this person? Why, wh what can we do so to they just don't show up again tomorrow? Uh-huh, okay. You know, and, and, and um, you know, there's also, I think, something Todd Park told me when we first met. You know, something like, um, you know, 40% of all lab tests uh, taken in America are never even viewed by the right. doctor who ordered them. Right. Uh, there's so much waste because we don't close the loop uh, on data. And, and there's not that feedback loop that the market normally provides. So, you know, I, I think people on the right are, are, are correct in looking for uh, market dynamics to save healthcare. But the irony is that it's the people on the left who are trying to actually introduce those market dynamics and are being shot down for ideological reasons. Okay. Well, left and right aside, if you could map out what needs to be done next without any sort of limitations, mm -hmm. what would you do? Well, the first thing, I'd let the Accountable Care Act run its course. I think there's a, there's a really wonderful framework for letting people uh, understand uh, the model of paying for outcomes. Uh, George Halverson of Kaiser is here. I mean, mm -hmm. I was just talking with Todd Park backstage, and he said, look, if we uh, ran American healthcare. The, if we just were able to make Kaiser the entire way that works in America, you know, universal healthcare a la Kaiser, we would have no healthcare cost problem. Okay. And mm -hmm. it's it's ironic. We know how to solve it, but we have 
it's a combination of um, you know what you can call regulatory capture. There are a lot of interested players who basically don't want the system to change. They get to you know buy their favorite legislators uh, who basically come out with an ideological position uh, that is really about not solving the problem. I'm kind of fed up with that. I think the American people should be fed up too. Uh, there are people who are really trying to solve the problem, and there are other people who are basically in the pockets of the people who want to keep. Uh, things the way they are. It's the same thing we see actually in other areas of, 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 of the economy that are changing. You know, we see uh, the old content industries fighting the new ways of distributing content mm -hmm. uh, and they get the legislators in their pocket and, and it's, it's really, it's, it's a shame. The biggest problem we have is when businesses that don't want to compete fairly try to get government to protect them from you know, th from innovators. Okay, and so that's what you believe is happening yeah. right now. But you that's want right. to see the ACOs run their course, so if we do get a decision in June that supports that, we're on the right track. I, I think so. Okay. Uh, I wish we had uh, universal health care. Uh, I think that would be better, but uh, we're, we're, better. We're, we're moving in the right direction. All right, Tim. Well, thank you so much for stopping right. by. I really appreciate your All insight. Right. Thank you. Thank I'm you. Mabel Jong. Thanks for watching.